Outrage is growing in Rio this morning over a medal-winning Russian athlete with a history of doping. Yulia Ufimova won silver in last night's 100-meter breaststroke. She had tested positive multiple times for banned substances, but has been cleared of the latest violation. Ben Tracy joins us again from Rio with how doping is now dominating the Olympics discussion. Ben, good morning. Good morning again. So this Russian swimmer was not even supposed to be here. She had been banned because of her doping history and also because of the vast doping program we now know was going on inside of Russia. But then she was quietly added back onto the roster here in Rio just days ago after winning an appeal. She swam in lane five right next to her American rival, Lily King. And by the time they touched the wall, the Russian, who had served a 16-month suspension for doping, won a silver medal coming in second to the 19-year-old American. The grudge match between the two began over the weekend when they engaged in a fierce finger shake-off. Lily King said afterwards, you're shaking your finger for number one and you've been caught for drug cheating. I'm just not a fan. She's justified. Members of Team USA are not holding back about having known dopers in the pool. During this games, there will probably be people who miss the podium to people who don't deserve to be on the podium. And that is wrong. Russia initially submitted 389 athletes for the Rio Games. Only 271 were approved to compete by the International Olympic Committee. But in the past several days, eight Russian athletes banned for doping have been allowed back in after winning appeals, most of them swimmers. The IOC claims there's nothing they can do. What do you say to the other swimmers who are now expressing concerns about competing in a pool with what they describe as known cheaters? This is people who have served uh, sanctions and are now clear. I would think in, America, in the United States, you would appreciate the idea of giving everyone the chance to prove their own innocence. Um, and that's what we tried to do. This was a failure of political will on the part of the IOC. John Hoberman is a doping expert at the University of Texas. He believes the IOC cut Russia a break by not banning the entire team and did so because Vladimir Putin spent more than 50 billion dollars on the Sochi Olympics, an all-time record. I do not see uh, an end to this crisis in sight. I think that the incentives to dope uh, were built into the system a long time ago. Which could be why Michael Phelps, now at his fifth Olympics, is frustrated by the lack of progress. You want to be able to compete on an even playing field. My career, I don't know if I've ever competed in a clean sport. To be fair, some U.S. athletes have also been caught up in the doping controversy. Competing here in these Rio Olympics, track stars Tyson Gay and Justin Gatlin have a history of doping. When asked last night whether or not they should be here competing, swimmer Lily King said no. Gail. Well, did Lily Mike, King is consistent. Did Michael Phelps say, I don't know that I've ever competed yes. in a clean yeah. event? Yes, yeah. he did say yeah. that. Wow. Yeah. He did there are say a that. lot of swimmers that I talked with, former Olympic swimmers, who really feel the exact same way. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's a very strong feeling. It's not a level them. playing field. No. That mean mug stare that Lily King gave the, the Russian <laughs> swimmer while they, before they took off was very, very chilling. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. You know, I'm going to beat you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Charlie, she Winning did. Winning says everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Final word. Hold it to one finger. I didn't finish that, did I? <laughs> we knew what you meant. And Tracy, we thank you in Rio. Thanks. It's always good to see you there.